Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, we're going to recap what could potentially be the, some of the biggest opportunities in 2024, and then we're also going to go through our weekly analysis and weekly process um, as usual. And to start off, we'll go with the indices, take a look at SPY and QQQ. So QQQ looks a little bit extended here, really nice move from the lows. Um, yeah, really, really nice steady uptrend since uh, October lows and on Friday it did form a hammer there was some selling pressure but it did end up closing pretty strong and it closed above that 409.5 level so that is bullish but yeah, on the weekly nine up weeks in a row now so definitely expect for some sort of consolidation or some sort of pullback and same thing with SPY SPY also nine weeks in a, uh, nine up weeks in a row Looking extended on the weekly and on the daily, um, really nice move off the lows, and um, yeah, really good action on Friday too. There was some selling pressure, but it was able to close her above that 474.65 level, and uh, you know overall it's just acting really, really well. Um, yeah, not much else to say for the indices. They're both acting really well, and for 2024, this could just be the start. Um, I know that SPY hasn't made new all-time highs yet, but QQQ already made new all-time highs, and there's a very good chance that I could just keep going in 2024 and make a really nice rally. Um, and a lot of growth stocks are just starting to break out, so let's take a look at ARKK. ARKK has been building the space for almost a year now, and uh, yeah, actually, almost over a year actually. Um, but yeah, now it's just starting to break out out of this, out of this base. So um, it used to be 160 before. So there's a very good chance that many growth stocks are just starting out here and many of them can still double or even triple from here. So definitely lots of opportunities going into 2024. And you want to make sure that you're picking the best stocks, um, the best stocks with the best risk reward, and you want to manage your risk properly and you can make a killing in 2024. And let's also take a look at small caps, IWM. So IWM is similar to ARKK. Um, it's just starting to break out of this base. So it definitely has room to go up to, all the way up to back, back up to 232-ish for 2024. So lots of upside potential. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices and ARKK. Overall, the point is that there's going to be lots of opportunities in 2024, especially in the growth stocks and small cap names um big caps already had a pretty nice recovery in 2023 um but yeah big caps still look pretty good so let's take a look at apple apple is forming a really nice downtrend here um it's like a flag on the weekly so overall looks really good and as soon as it breaks this flag then has a good chance to make a room back or make a run back up to 200 and then uh continue to power higher overall apple looks really really good Next up, let's take a look at AMD. AMD had a nice breakout um, this week. And then, yeah, really nice breakout on uh, Tuesday. And then uh, really nice rally. And then on Friday, it's consolidating. Pulled back in a little bit. Overall, AMD looks really, really good. And it has a chance to make a move back to new all-time highs in 2024. Because yeah, it has no resistance until that 158 level. And once 158 gets taken up, room back up to all-time highs. Next up, let's take a look at Broadcom. So Broadcom is forming what I call a three-weeks tight pattern. Um, so every single weekly close, or every weekly close here, are relatively close to each other. So when that happens, that's a sign that sellers are being absorbed. So that's a really good action, uh, or that's really good price action. And overall, Broadcom looks excellent here. Really strong breakout, huge volume, and pulling back in with light volume. So this is, um, yeah, really really good action. And Broadcom is definitely a stock that can uh, make a big move in twenty twenty four. Next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google is still chopping around here around that one thirty nine level. Um, this week it did pull back in, but. It did close above 139, so as long as it holds to that 139 level, Google has room to 144. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say for Google. Um, 
meta is acting well had a nice breakout the week before and this week was just consolidating as long as it holds that 353 level then it has room back up to 377 um, microsoft microsoft is forming a really nice flag here and this one looks really ready to go um yeah if it breaks that 377 level ish then it should have a good chance to make new all-time highs microsoft looks really good here um, Netflix, Netflix is struggling with that 490 level, but once that 490 level gets taken out, uh, Netflix has a lot of room to run and they can, yeah, next resistance level would be that 563 level. So Netflix looks really good. Um, ServiceNow, ServiceNow is another one that's been, um, has four weekly closes, four tight weeks in a row now. So ServiceNow looks really, really good on the daily chart it's tightening up really really nice here so service now is definitely another name that you want to pay attention to um nvidia nvidia has been basing pretty much like the last six months and i think it's ready to make a big breakout here um yeah nvidia is definitely a top watch once that 500 level gets taken out this one can oh yeah this one has a lot of potential and i know the price targets were like 800 and some price target, some people even put the price target for a thousand, or some analysts on Wall Street put price targets for a thousand. So, Nvidia has a lot, a lot of potential for sure. Uh, and then let's take a look at Tesla. So Tesla, Tesla tried to break out last week from that two fifty seven level. It did break out, but it ended up rejecting and failed. Um, so yeah, I had a nice breakout on Wednesday and then on Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, both days, they ended up fading pretty hard. Um, so yeah, another failed breakout for Tesla. Tesla looks pretty weak here. Um, yeah, again, if it can break out that 257 level, then there's a chance, but until then, um, Tesla's just chopping around for now. And Tesla's actually still holding this uptrend, so... Uh, yeah, potentially Tesla should bounce around this level, and if it doesn't, then it would be a good short play, actually. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the big cap tech stocks. Now let's take a look at some individual growth names. Um, first one being Affirm. Affirm had a really nice flag breakout here, and then broke out another flag here, broke out another flag here, broke out. And now it's starting to consolidate here, so uh, a bigger pullback would be good here. Uh, <clears throat> and then you yeah, just on the weekly it looks really extended so just waiting for a bigger pullback and then this one is one that you want to watch for sure um next up arm this is a new ipo stock a stock in the semiconductor space and this one's acting really well um yeah just watching this one for a pullback to that uh, anywhere near that 72 ish level <clears throat> i would say that's a good area to buy uh, or for a dip buy um but yeah, AR ARM is definitely a name that you want to watch. Lots of potential. New IPO stock. Same with uh, Kava. This one's also a new IPO stock. And this one's been uptrending really nice since that high volume um, gap up here. We, or gap, small gap up here, but very strong close. Two strong closes back to back. Nice flag here and then broke out. And then another nice flag and then broke out. But... Yeah, Kava is definitely one that you want to keep an eye on, and 41.29 would be a good level to um, dip by. And then Coin, Coin had an insane rally in 2024. Um, yeah, just a really nice rally here. Once it took that 110 level, it just completely took off, and it's definitely very extended here, and has a good chance to pull back to that, um, or any pull back to 150 would be very um it would be a good buy the dip area but um could be unlikely coin could just continue going to that 200 level but yeah we'll see what happens it looks very extended so a pullback here is uh the most probable outcome crowd strike <clears throat> crowd strikes another one with a really nice weekly chart really nice bull flag forming here but it is extended so more consolidation here would be good but overall, CrowdStrike looks really, really good. Duolingo, this is another IPO name that's been acting well. Um, yeah, it's making new, it made new 52-week highs. And uh, now it's just consolidating. 
but this is another one that you want to watch and 220 would be a good area to buy the dip on this one ELF elf uh, this one's just going this one just had an insane run in or this year and almost last year half of last year so this one's another one that has a lot of potential um <clears throat> and on the daily chart it's forming a really nice bull flag here two-day flag here so if it can break out then this could be viable next week as well but uh yeah alpha is a very very strong stock ESTC, this one had a killer earnings report with huge volume and now it's just flagging here um oops yeah now it's just flagging here and uh a dip to the 110 level could be a good area to buy the dip um but yeah and then iot iot is another one with a really nice weekly flag this one's also an ipo name so really nice breakout on the ipo uh or ipo highs and then really nice breakout with that earnings gap up nice volume and now it's just consolidating for a couple weeks now this is really really good action uh, next up let's take a look at path so path same thing really nice volume on that earnings breakout and it's just been consolidating ever since so this one's starting to form a flag here as well so keeping an eye, keeping an eye on this one as well and then snapchat this one is surprisingly very very strong made a really nice move off the lows uh, pretty much doubled off the lows and now it's starting to form a really nice flag here so keeping this one on close watch um, a really nice flag here let me draw it so yeah really nice flag coming here and this is one that can break out next week but snapchat is one that has huge opportunity for 24 24 this one's like really really beaten down so this is a stock that can forex from here um snowflake snowflake has a really nice weekly chart um really nice base breakout and then now it's forming a flag here and if it takes this out then it has chance to make a really really big move um and uh, yeah, it can potentially double from here too uh, so far this one has a really nice uh it, it's been acting really really well since that gap up uh, there was there was a nice flag here and then another mini flag here not the best setup here but nice flag here and then it's just been trending up really well ever since and i was trying to form another flag here um and it can yeah potentially make a move back up to 52 week highs um i would say the key level of resistance would be around that uh, yeah, ten dollar level it's definitely a psychological level as well um but yeah overall so far acting really really well and last but not least uber um uber's just uh really really strong here right look at the move off the lows or off these lows and then made a really really strong uptrend for a really nice rally huge volume and now it's just consolidating for the last three weeks so this is four weeks tight now um including this week so four weeks tight here forming a nice bull flag on the weekly chart so this is definitely a top top um setup for 2024 but yeah lots of opportunity for 2024 focus on these growth stocks many of these can double or even triple from here so um yeah but that's all i got for this week thank you guys for tuning in There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.